All right. So welcome to the Free Code Camp Responsive Web Design main page, all right? Uh, in this Responsive Web Design certification, we're going to learn the mark, pardon me, the languages that developers use to build web pages, HTML, hypertext markup language for content, and CSS, cascading style sheets for design. First, we're gonna build a cat photo app to learn the basics of HTML and CSS. There's not gonna be a, uh, a hint of CSS in cat photo app. This thing was written like in 2017 or 2015. So it's been updated a million times since then. Later, we'll learn modern techniques like CSS variables by building a penguin and best practices for accessibility by building a quiz site. Very true. Finally, we're gonna learn how to make web pages that respond to different screen sizes by building a photo gallery with Flexbox and a magazine article layout with CSS Grid. Okay, well, this is not gonna be the final thing. The final thing is definitely going to be uh, building the penguin and then also before that building the Ferris wheel. Uh, but you know, all I'm trying to say, look, these guys, you, when you're on this thing, you're gonna realize that they, uh, they're doing the best they can. Let's put it like that. These guys are doing the best they can, all right? Uh, so now we're going to go to this first one, learn HTML by building a cat photo app, all right? It's got uh, 69 of them. <laughs> anyway, uh, and let's just go through this. So HTML tags give a web page its structure. We can use HTML tags to add photos, buttons, and other elements to our web page. In this course, We'll learn the most common HTML tags by building our own cat photo app. All right. So when we click this, you see right here, we've got this uh, little cat photo app right here. Very simple stuff. Uh, as you can see, not a hint of CSS, if you know what CSS is. If not, the fact that there's no style in it all, colors or anything like that, that's what it means. There ain't no CSS here. So let's start coding. And now we're on to step one. And we'll see you next time.